वेलकम टू अनदर धमाकेदार फर्राटेदार एंड मजेदार सेशन ऑफ वेदांतु यंग वंडर्स बिकॉज एज आई से every child is special each one of you whether you are in any part of the world or the country you are extra special and extraordinary for us and that is why we have started this amazing extraordinary series that is the science sprint for grade 6 7 and 8 all your chapters from science subject will be covered like never before so if you haven't subscribed to the amazing channel of vedantu young wonders subscribe it now the subscription button is right below the video hit on it and subscribe and join the family of vedantu young wonders and in today's amazing class we will be dealing with the first chapter of your grade 7 science ncert that is nutrition in plants let us master nutrition in plants like never before before we move ahead let me introduce you to the amazing team of vedantu young wonders sundar sir nabamita kumar and myself who help you to master each and every subject Subject life never before because our only motive in life is to make your tomorrow better than your today to make you a bigger stronger and better person with every passing day so please like share and subscribe to vedantu young wonders and hit on the hit on the bell icon so that you get notified whenever we come online along with that i would also like all of you to connect with us on telegram which notifies you about all the upcoming classes and lectures on vedantu young wonders the details of the telegram app are given in the description below so connect with us on telegram and make this family bigger stronger and better let us now move ahead by learning more about nutrition in plants a very very important chapter a chapter which tells us about the different modes of nutrition that is seen in plants how plants consume food how plants prepare food and how plants distribute food to the different parts of its body a very important chapter from your grade 7 science ncert textbook chapter number 1 that is nutrition in plants so let us begin the learning the very important mind map we try to cover the entire chapter in the form of a mind map and a very important mind map that begins by telling us that plants have got two major modes of nutrition autotrophic auto means self that is the self nutrition that plants do all green plants carry out a biochemical process known as the photosynthesis photosynthesis is carried out by all the green plants we will be learning more about photosynthesis in the coming slide all the green plants especially the green plants all the green plants carry out the process of photosynthesis and that is known as autotrophic mode of nutrition heterotrophic mode of nutrition is where the plants depend on other organisms for food heterotrophic mode of nutrition is where the plants depend on other other organisms for food in this we have got different categories like the sapro like the saprotropic saprotropic we have got the symbiotic and we have got insectivorous plants we will be dealing about each and every category along with examples in the further slide so please stay tuned with this video along with that what are the needs of the plant so plants need mineral salts plants need mineral salts and two major minerals that are required by the plant are nitrogen and magnesium nitrogen and magnesium are the two major minerals that are required by the plants which the plant absorbs from the soil so this your soil in which the plants or the crops are growing they should have good amount of nitrogen and magnesium in them along with that the minerals in the plant can also be added with the help of fertilizers with the help of fertilizers these fertilizers can be chemical chemical that can be chemically made man made or natural fertilizer something like a urea so natural fertilizer or the manure compost these are natural fertilizers which help in organic farming where no man made chemicals are used to increase the yield or growth of the plant some mineral salts that are required by the plants are nitrogen and magnesium or the other needs of the plant can be suffice with the help of fertilizers these fertilizers can be man made or natural talking about gaseous exchange in plants where plants exchange the gases that is 
plants give out co2 yes guys you heard that right plants also give out co2 how when and why that we'll be learning now plants take in oxygen plants also give out oxygen and they also take in carbon dioxide so the process the process of taking in of carbon dioxide and giving out of oxygen using different chemicals is nothing but photosynthesis so photosynthesis is the process by which plants take in carbon dioxide and give out oxygen whereas respiration is the process by which plants give out carbon dioxide and take in oxygen but guys let me explain it to you very very carefully what exactly happens so let me tell you that two processes are taking place in the plant a very very important slide so please pay attention two important processes are taking place in the plant one is respiration and one is carbon dioxide r stands for respiration and p stands for photosynthesis two very important processes that are taking place in the plant respiration and photosynthesis now let us see what happens in case of respiration in case of respiration just like human beings in case of respiration just like human beings plants will take in oxygen plants will take in oxygen and they will give out carbon dioxide they will give out carbon dioxide respiration happens in the plants just like human beings during the entire day and the entire night entire day and night plants carry out respiration so they are taking in oxygen and giving out carbon dioxide but but during the process of photosynthesis this carbon dioxide some major amount of the carbon dioxide is taken in during photosynthesis whereas oxygen is given out during photosynthesis and photosynthesis photosynthesis occurs only during the day only during the day a very very important slide that respiration and photosynthesis photosynthesis are happening in the plant respiration happens bo uh, both day and night whereas photosynthesis happens only in the day during the respiration plants will take in oxygen and carbon dioxide just like human beings whereas during photosynthesis plants will take in the carbon dioxide and give out oxygen so this is very important processes that take place in the plant that is the gaseous exchange but as assured let us learn in detail about photosynthesis so what is exactly the process of photosynthesis in the process of photosynthesis plants take in carbon dioxide along with water in the presence of sunlight and the green pigment and the green pigment called chlorophyll with the help of sunlight and chlorophyll in the present and carbon dioxide and water plants carry out the process of photosynthesis to give out glucose and oxygen this oxygen is given out this oxygen is given out in the atmosphere for other organisms to use so plants take in carbon dioxide plus water in the presence of sunlight and chlorophyll they carry out photosynthesis to give out glucose and oxygen and this entire process takes place in the leaves of the plant in the green leaves of the plant green leaves very very important in the green leaves of the plant the process of photosynthesis is carried out this is all about the process of photosynthesis that plants take in carbon dioxide and water in the presence of sunlight and chlorophyll to give out glucose and oxygen and this oxygen is given out in the atmosphere for other organisms to use now this is about autotrophic nutrition let us now move on to heterotrophic nutrition where plants depend on other organisms to fulfill their nutritional needs as you can see on the screen we have got the images of venus flytrap which is a green plant and the pitcher plant venus flytrap and pitcher plant where you can see the plant is trapping in a frog and a mouse this frog and mouse when they enter the venus flytrap and the pitcher plant respectively they will close they will close and due to the chemicals present inside the plant the bodies of these animals will dissolve and plant will absorb the nutrients from them this is an insectivorous plant and this is what is practicing heterotrophic nutrition so this is an example of a heterotropic nutrition heterotropic nutrition can be seen this plant is known as a venus flytrap whereas this is an example of a pitcher plant pitcher plant venus 
flytra so these are insectivorous or the heterotrophic mode of nutrition practicing plants where they are dependent on other organisms to fulfill their nutritional needs after that we come on to saprophytic plants what do you mean by saprophytic plants very very important definition from your ncrt point of view saprophytic again it is a heterotrophic mode of nutrition again a heterotrophic mode of nutrition these type of plants example mushrooms they feed on the dead they feed on the dead and decaying matter they feed on the dead and decaying matter and the example of hetero uh, the example of saprophytic plants is mushrooms mushrooms are example of saprophytic plants they are heterotrophic plants which feed on the dead and decaying matter to fulfill their needs so example of saprophytic very very important from your ncrt point of view is mushrooms example of saprophytic plants is mushroom and that brings us to the last type of hetero tropic plants and that is symbiotic plants what do you mean by the word symbiotic plants symbiotic plants are the plants where two different organisms feed on each other to fulfill their nutritional need they are dependent on each other to fulfill their nutritional need and the example of a symbiotic plant is lichens 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 are an example of symbiotic plants lichens are also very good indicators of air pollution even if there is little amount of air pollution especially sulfur dioxide in the air immediately the number of lichens will reduce so a good number of lichens in the environment show that the air is pure if the number of lichens are not there if the number of lichens have reduced in the environment which shows that the air in the particular environment is very very polluted a very good example of this is city of delhi and mumbai and bangalore where the air pollution is rising with every passing day and that is why lichens are reducing so lichens are very very good indicators of air pollution one once again a very good characteristic feature of lichen is that they are good indicators of air pollution so guys in today's class we learned about autotrophic nutrition that is photosynthesis we learned that plants need nitrogen magnesium plants also need fertilizers which can be natural or chemical along with that gaseous exchange takes place in the plants plants carry out respiration during the day and night and plants also carry out photosynthesis during respiration plants take in oxygen and give out carbon dioxide whereas during photosynthesis plants take in carbon dioxide and give out oxygen in heterotrophic nutrition we learned that plants are dependent on other organisms for food but the three different types of heterotrophic modes of nutrition that we learned today were insectivorous where we learned about venus flytrap and pitcher plant where these plants were dependent on other organisms for food we also learned about saprophytic nutrition where the plants feed on the dead and decaying example of which was mushrooms the last type of heterotrophic nutrition in plants that we learned was symbiotic nutrition where both the plants are dependent on each other to fulfill their nutritional needs and the example of that was lichens this brings us to the end of this amazing but a very very important chapter from your grade 7 science first chapter nutrition in plants ncrt and this was all about what you want what you can learn from the chapter nutrition in plants to learn more in depth about this chapter and to see that how can this chapter be taught one to one in such fun and exciting way do not forget that we have got some amazing micro courses also about which i'll be telling you very soon to uh, cha summarize the chapter the most important question from this particular chapter the most important question from this particular chapter is the difference between autotropic and heterotropic plants autotropic it occurs in green plants carbon dioxide and water are needed for the synthesis of food the process is called photosynthesis chlorophyll and sunlight are essential for the synthesis of food which is again indicating towards photosynthesis example of heterotropic all the non-green plants like the venus flytrap the mushroom which are white saprophytic lichens heterotrophs derive their food from green plants or other autotrophs directly or 
or indirectly chlorophyll is absent and sunlight is not needed in these plants example of that non-green plant is a mushroom so the guys that brings us to the end of this amazing chapter but very important that was class 7 ncrt science first chapter nutrition in plants to learn more about this chapter in detail and in depth like never before do not forget to log on to vdnt.in/ytmicro where you will be getting knowledge about this chapter in detail like never before quizzes assignments and so much else with the help of a master teacher to enroll the course for only 11 rupees use my special code that is prmic use this code and you can get the course for as less as 11 rupees along with that vedantu has also got some amazing crash courses which will help you to revise your entire syllabus of math and science of grade 6 7 and 8 respectively all the details for the micro courses are right in front of you on the screen as well as it is given in the description below so go ahead and take the crash courses the crash courses are available for only rupees 2850 and you can get the crash course for this amount if you use my special code that is prcc use this special code and get the crash course only for rupees 2850 all your uh, syllabus all your chapters from science and math will be revised like never before so take the benefit of the crash courses and make your learning fun and exciting along with that if you haven't downloaded the amazing free vedantu app on google store and apple store which gives you access to so many classes quizzes and leaderboards download it today till then guys this is Prite signing off for the day i'll see you all really very very soon do not forget to like share and subscribe to vedantu young wonders because every child is special until i see you next take care of yourself stay healthy stay happy stay blessed take care bye bye